This is my uh, glow bug pattern. For this I use uh, the Venyard glow bug egg yarn. Comes in many different colours, but I have a little technique here. If not, if any of you have seen my other videos, you see that I use these in uh, several patterns. These, you bite the chemist or your dentist, and they're for threading dental floss through your teeth. Uh, cost next to nothing, and you get 25, I think, in one of these packets. So, what you need is three strands of Globug yarn in different colours, if you wish, depending on what you want to do. You take your threader and you place it over your Globug yarn into the centre. Match up the ends, then you take a short length of a, 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 a broad gauge drinking straw, you place your dental floss threader in and then you pull through the glow bug yarn. Pull it a bit more to about there. Now what you have to do is before you start you have to level all these ends. And I do that with a razor blade. So you get all the ends level like that. Important. So the hook is a mustard C67 egg caddis size 6. This is a very very strong hook. So the tying thread has to be Dyneema, you can do this with GSP but as many of you will know I only use Dyneema so we put the Dyneema on the hook just at the front third of the hook shank yeah, and we just make a little foundation I take it to the centre and now I put a whip finish just to hold everything in place. So we take our global gag yarn in the drinking straw and we put it on the hook like this and then we go right into the straw once, twice and really tighten up. Then we can pull a little bit out of the straw and we really tighten up now like so we go through and we secure it around the hook shank. Then we can take our whip finish tool and we make a couple of whip finishes nice and tight at the front. Move our tying thread then we pull just a little way out don't cut yet, otherwise you won't get your uh, glow bug yarn out of the tube for the next one. So just pull that far and then we cut. There we are. So what I do now is I just turn it over, open up at the bottom. I put a drop, just a tiny drop. Of super glue and I fold everything over and hold it in position. Now that one's pretty good but you can see maybe I've got a little bit of an uneven area there. Instead of cutting, if you start cutting this it takes time. So instead of doing that just you can remove just by being careful all the straggly bits with a lighter just like that and that's the finished glow bug egg